Chicago police have issued a warrant for the vigilante, Aiden Pierce. However, Chicago citizens are cheering Pierce on. With so much citizen support, police are having a hard time getting any tips on his whereabouts. worked so hard to keep Nikki shielded from everything, and now... She's killed someone. Oh, damn, city's collapsing around us. I need to get her away, safe, before it's too late. Come on. Yolanda said she's gonna call the police on you. Get in the car, let's go. Tell me you were set up. Tell me! I found him. The man who hurt her. I know who it is. What? Nick, we're out of time. We need to go. Now! Come on! they're after me yeah but we can explain we can tell them about damien I'll, I'll tell them everything that happened nikki listen if we're caught you don't say anything right now i'm getting you two out of the city you'll disappear and stay in business They're after me. Yeah, but we can explain. We can tell them about Damien. I'll, I'll tell them everything that happened. Nikki, listen. If we're caught, you don't say anything. Right now, I'm getting you two out of the city. You'll disappear and stay invisible. I'll take care of Damien. But you're not making any sense. We don't have anything to hide, do we? Me. Yeah, but we can explain. We can tell them about Damien. I'll, I'll tell them everything that happened. Nikki, listen. If we're caught, you don't say anything. Right now, I'm getting you two out of the city. You'll disappear and stay invisible. 
I'll take care of Damien. You're not making any sense. We don't have anything to hide, do we? It's you. Isn't it? You're the vigilante. It's complicated. Be advised, a high-powered patrol car has been sent to his location. Been gone? What did you do to get me out? I did what I had to. There used to be an ice cream shop. Everything I know is in Chicago. It's my home. And now, just... start again? I thought things would be different. I hoped. Things will be different. I promise you. No more promises, Aiden. Where are we going? I'm getting you and Jax away from here. And then what? We can move out of state and stay with... No, don't tell me. Don't tell anyone. It's over. For you guys. But not for you. It's okay, Jax. It didn't have to be this way, but what other options do we have? Are we okay? Remember when we were kids? And I would... follow you? And you'd try and get away from me, and... stupid me, I kept trying. I didn't like your cars, or... hockey. And your friends were gross. I followed you because I idolized you. Like Jackson does. And I kept hoping that you want me around. But eventually, I just hoped that you would look back. All I can say is I'm sorry. I'm not following you anymore. I know. <laughs> All right, sweetie. We're leaving now. Say goodbye to your uncle, Aiden. Are you coming with us? No. Your uncle's staying here. Bye, Jax.
shed light and who you're looking for. Are you ready for this? Probably not. We'll play it anyway. I want you to run an errand for me, Mr. Iraq. Right. Leave a name and address for this errand, Mr. Quinn. Brinks and Pierce. Make a strong warning. Get the family if you have to. Sir, yes, sir. What they do? Not your concern, Mr. Iraq. Do as you're told. And I'll let you be in charge of the auction next year. He's one cold son of a bitch. Fucking Quinn. It was just supposed to be a fast job, a big payoff, no problem. Fucking mob boss. It ain't my place to tell you what to do, but in case you're wondering, Quinn's got some charity thing going on. At his hotel, the Merlot. Nikki will never come back. I've driven her from her home, from me. I know she's safe. You're both safe. Now, Quinn. Lucky Quinn. He's brought all of this on us. He's the ghost I've been chasing. Well, now he'll answer to me. Okay. 